We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Hey everyone, this is Connor McBride here for First Updates Now. I'm here checking in with Team 1519 Mechanical Mayhem at the 2020 Week Zero in Nashua, New Hampshire. This looks like an awesome robot, guys, and I kind of see some uh, 4481 Rembrandts from their Open Alliance blog in here, so I'd love to know more about this robot. Let's start off uh, talking a little bit more about your intake. Mm -hmm, okay. So yeah, we have our intake here. Um, we have these three sets of rollers designed to bring the ball up over this boundary on this Lexan plate here, um, and that'll um, put it right into the revolver. Um, we tried different size wheels. We're using larger wheels just to get more um, rotational speed on the wheel, um, and that seems to work pretty well right now. Um, in this revolver here, um, we decided to go with this mechanism. We thought um, it might be the best for preventing ball jams. We noticed that a lot of teams, Robot in Three Days, were struggling with that. Um, and so we decided um, to go with this design. Um, these rollers here are just some Cox beads we picked up at Hobby Lobby, <laughs> and they seem to work really well. Um, we started having um, some spokes in the center to kind of divide the revolver into separate sections, um, but then we decided that when intaking balls, and those would cause the balls to jam often. And so we actually, right now with this design, it actually works um, a lot better as we just um, rotate the bottom of the turntable, and it's able to roll along these walls um, quite nicely. Awesome, so moving right along, we are going to hand this over to uh, my friend Laith over here, uh, talk a little bit more about the shooter aspect of the robot. Sounds good, so I am the pit lead on Mechanical Mayhem. My name is Laith. I worked primarily on the shooter subsystem this year. We have a drum style turreting shooter with a flywheel. It's currently powered by one Falcon 500 motor, and we're using the Fairlane wheels with a 35A durometer. Um, our lead screw actuates our hood up and the turret can move our shooter to the right position in reference to the goal, and we can shoot from anywhere on the field that we can see the targets. Uh, we currently are using two sets of wheels. One set of wheels brings the ball into the shooter wheel, and the shooter wheel lobs the ball out towards the goal. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Leif, for talking about the shooter. So now we're going to move on to our climbing system. Two telescoping arms. Let's hear more about this one. So I'm Andrew, I worked on the climber sub team. So basically we have two sets of climbers. They're telescoping, or they're nesting elevate. It's a nesting elevator. It has a constant force spring up here, which pulls it up. So we unwinch the winch, which brings it up. And then we continue winching to pull it down. So we have these big pistons here to angle it up properly. And yeah, it's pretty minute. Awesome, thanks guys. Once again, this is Team 1519 Mechanical Mayhem here at the Week Zero 2020 in Nashua, New Hampshire. They are competing at Granite State Week One and Pine Tree Week Six. There's a lot of time in between your events and with this no bag day, expect this team to have a lot of iteration in between. The largest robot reveal, Premier Night, is back on Sunday, February 23rd at 6 p.m. Eastern. Submissions are due on Friday, February 21st. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.